Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Today we are tackling the master cylinder on the car because allegedly the old one went bad and I hope that's the case because I picked up a new old one. New to me, off an old car. So, hopefully we get this squared away and also change out the front brake lines to something stainless and not 20 years old. So I am going to end up changing both today, but this little clip on the passenger side, this thing shattered and shipping. I found them on Amazon. They're coming tomorrow. So, but we'll still bang this out and get that all done. Now I've already taken the wheels off, bled the brake lines and I'm going to start off with these and then go to the master cylinder because there's still fluid in the master cylinder and I want to clean it out. So I'm going to start off with these first, or at least this side. We'll start off on the driver's side, bang this out. Now it was just a 12 millimeter socket to get the, the brake line screw out. Make sure you get all the copper washers off. So when you go to put this back on, you don't have any leaks. New kit comes with them. So let's get started. All right guys, I'm gonna start by disconnecting the brake line from here. This is a 10 millimeter line wrench that I got. So bust this loose and then we'll take this off. Okay, so that's off. Drop that down. Cool. And then right here we got a 10 millimeter socket for releasing that bracket. Okay, cool. Gonna save that little bolt. This will come off. And then this will come out. And our line is liberated, so we'll just throw it right down there because we don't need it no more. Alright guys, I'm just going to start this right here. This is our new one. And thread it up and in. Just get it started. Just make sure we don't cross thread. Okay, we're just snug in there. So we're going to stick this up in here. I'm going to put that little bolt back in. Alright, here we go. A little bolt back in. So it goes there. Put this in the on position. Alright, nice and snug. So that's not going anywhere. Now I work on cranking this guy down. Go with the box wrench first just to snug it. So it's about right there. And then use the line wrench to go the rest of the way. Give it a good crank. Okay, so on this particular kit, this thing likes to spin. So an 11 sixteenths on the top all in place. And we should be able to put our 10 millimeter right here. Give it a crank. That's more gooder. Give it a little, oops, came off. Ugh, okay, that's tight enough. All right guys, gonna attach this brake line. It goes on just like that. So this is the Russell stainless brake line. You can see there's a little flat spot right here. That's going to go against this little stub, so it's going to end up just like that. So don't forget your washer on top, washer on the bottom, and screw it in. Oh, and I sprayed this with brake clean. This thing was pretty gunked up. It's 20 years old. Never did it before, so I got a washer here. Put it through there, put another washer on. There we go. And start threading. Okay, this is a 12 millimeter socket. I don't know why I have a deep one, but I do. I'm going to run it down. I don't have a torque spec on this. I always just do this by feel. And that feels pretty good right there. So that's what I'm going to go with. All right, we have successfully installed our driver's side brake line. And then if you see up here, you got this line. You got this thing you got to lock in. This little tab. Let's see if we can spin it. It's supposed to go in and twist like that. Nope, didn't want it. There we go. All right, so you spin it and now it won't come out. So it should hold right there. And then I guess when you steer, this thing has play in it to move if it needs to. So that's cool. So very much needed upgrade on this thing because that's 20 years old. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side and knock that out and then we'll start working on the master cylinder. All right guys, got the passenger side all in. Got this locked in, this cranked down. Got this tight, but I'm still waiting on that clip, so that'll be here tomorrow. No biggie. I'll take the wheel off and ram that thing in. Uh, I still got to bleed the brakes, but after, 
I do the master cylinder, which is coming up next. Stay tuned. All right, guys, getting ready to take the brake master cylinder out. So basically just need a couple 13 millimeter bolts right there. And then two down here. We're going to get this little bracket out of the way that holds up the clutch master cylinder tank, the coolant tank, and we're going to slide that out of the way. These are two 10 millimeters. We're going to disconnect this little tank, just get it up out of the way so we could get this whole thing out. And then these two, one here, one on the other side, those are 12 millimeter. So all the silly meters for this. And then the big brake line is a 13 millimeter. And the small one in the back right there is a 10 millimeter. So I got line wrenches for both of them to break them free. And then I'll use a standard open end wrench to spin them off. So no big deal. Let's knock this out. All right, start off with these guys, 10 millimeter. Nice and easy. Come right off. Got one. And then we can just take this, push it forward. And now we're up out of the way. Cool. Okay, now we'll work on these little side guys, get this whole bracket off. That's okay, got one. Take you there. Second one. And two. And now I'll take this guy off. Which is very loose. Nice. Or broke. Nope, really short. Really tiny guy with a washer. Keep that separate. So now this bracket's out of the way. And then this bracket's just gonna come out. And we're just gonna lay it down because we still have a wire attached to it for the coolant tank. So that's perfect. All right, guys, we're going to break these two brake lines off. Uh, there's still some fluid in here. I'm just going to let it drip onto this rag. But as you, many of you know, this shit will eat paint. So keep a rag. This one's a 13 millimeter. Right here. Let's see if I can unblock your view. There we go. Broken loose. There we go. Yeah, let's get this out of here because that's annoying. All right, so that one's broken loose. And this little guy's a 10 millimeter. Yeah. All right, cool. And I'm just gonna use a box wrench to come off the rest of the way. All right, that's off. All right, that's out. So I got both of them out. All right, something else I forgot to mention. There's a little plug in here. Where is it? It's right there. I'm gonna unplug that wire. Doesn't look like a big deal. Let's see if we can get that off right now. Pull that. There we go. So yeah, there's just two dopey little tabs there. You gotta pull them apart and they drop down. All right, now into these 12 millimeter nuts. Start backing this one out. Looks like it's just a nut, so. It looks like it's studded through the brake booster. So we'll see about that. Yeah, so it looks like, so there's one. Keep that right there, so we don't lose track of that. There, yeah, get a little speed wrench in here, see what this does. Okay, and two. Now in theory, this thing should just pull out. So we'll get these lines out of the way. Yeah. Where are you stuck? Oh, you're hitting there, that's why. So pull it out. and slide it this way there we go okay okay so we got our master cylinder off now oh it's leaking shit watch for leaks okay so it looks like that's all it is you just kind of stick that thing in there and uh tighten it up so nothing crazy so far so let me get let me clean this up a little bit and then i'll throw the new one in all right guys, trying to beat the rain here real quick. So I just threw this thing in. Now do yourself a favor, put these lines on first, get them started, then bolt down the back and there. So now we're just gonna crank it all down, get it back together. So it's 13 millimeter. It goes nice and easy by hand. Might be able to get it all the way down. Let's see what the 10 millimeter does. All right, 10 millimeters going nice and easy. So we're just gonna snug these things down, start putting it back together and try and beat this rain. Nice and snug. Yeah, that's good. 
That's all good with. Same with 13 millimeter. Okay, one more little bump. Don't want to go too crazy on these. And of course, we'll test it out when we're bleeding it. But as for now, we're just putting this thing back together. So put this little bracket back on. Take this guy. Put this back in. Now, I did not find torque specs on these, so just go snug. <clears throat> Snug. Okay, that one's snug, and then we'll tighten this guy up and get this in. Cool. Alright, we'll throw our little clutch guy back in, a little clutch tank. And snug. There we go. And then take our little line here, which I forgot how it was ran, but it's going to go through here. All right, we got a little brake line snap back in. All right, guys, that should be how you change a brake master cylinder. We'll find out tomorrow because it is about to rain and it's getting dark. So I'm going to flush the system out tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to have to find out tomorrow. You guys will be finding out in about the next minute or so editing. And then we'll see what our results are. All right, guys, the uh, brake master cylinder is in, brakes are bled, and so we can see through there. Nice, firm brake pedal. Yay, got brakes now. Well, I haven't gotten it on the ground to roll test it, but that pedal is a lot better than it was. So I'll say right now, I have a 99% chance of having brakes. So I'll take that. Uh, so it's way better than it was, like I said. So before we end off the video, transmission's in. So our console's back together, kinda. I may take this apart again for the, the line lock after I figure out how I'm gonna run it because I wanted to do it with the brake master cylinder, but I have no power to the car and I don't wanna wire it up and get that all wrong. So I'll wait until the car's back together to do that one. And also, a sneak peek down here, but that silver thing you see above the clutch pedal, that is our pedal stop. That is going to be for the new master cylinder, slave cylinder combo. I bled that system and just gotta make some adjustments. So that will be next week's videos. Uh, I'm gonna put two of them out. Uh, Friday, definitely coming out with the setup and the installation of the master cylinder and then the slave cylinder on top of that how to get your measurements and all that and then the video that'll come a day or two after that one will be you know the transmission going in the bleeding of the system and you know getting it all set up and ready to go and what we're testing for so that'll be coming up on friday and saturday maybe sunday uh, see if the, the weather holds up. It's been raining every freaking day here. So hopefully I get a good week of work in and this thing will be knocked out. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I think I'm at like 74, 75 subscribers now. That's freaking awesome. Keep up the good work. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, do all that, you know, fun stuff. And, uh, it's getting closer. We're almost there. We're almost ready to fire this thing up. Uh, the engine's in and we're gonna start putting stuff back together and next you know it's radiator and fluids and all that stuff and get a nice fire up cold start video can't wait i cannot friggin wait all right guys take care have a good day out